next one here. This next one here is, uh, was inspired by an essay by Clive James, a great Australian. And uh, Clive, as we know, is a pretty clever, he's a pretty clever chap. Uh, he'd written the uh, essay about the life of Joseph Goebbels, the Nazi propaganda minister. And uh, so I read this and uh, I was intrigued by this um, premise that uh, Goebbels himself seemed to be somebody who would sponsor uh, you know, uh, theatrical and any kind of arts-based events. So he was somebody who had this, um, uh, you know, he, he loved the arts and he, and, he, and he loved culture. And yet at the same time, he was part of that monstrous regime. So I said, well, what makes a man in that particular circumstance do things like that? Whereas in another circumstance, you know, it'd be a, you know, a folk festival director or something like that, you know? Uh, so what, why is it so? And uh, the word that came to mind was a, a lovely little German word that we've managed to steal for, the, uh, you know, for English, which is called the zeitgeist, the zeitgeist. It's the spirit of the time and the place. So uh, that's what inspired the song, the essay, and that, that little bit of, uh, you know, kind of thought. But uh, Goebbels and Clive James don't get a mention in the song. No. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what started it. That's but each, what started each the of the verses is from a new story. That's right. So... I saw a man with a gun He held it in his arms like a lover And the look in his eyes Meant nothing at all His feet were unshod His khaki commando This soldier of God this some of the sun Blame it on the zeitgeist And the spirit of place Blame it on the zeitgeist And the spirit of place Do you remember that church? Funeral pyre so high, and the screams from inside meant nothing at all. Blame it on the zeitgeist and the spirit of place. Blame it on the zeitgeist.
No family, no friends Just the smell of the clay And the man with the gun With the power of God What goes through his mind Such a terrible 